A world where one chip could completely change the way smartphones are built and used, disrupting the entire industry in one fell swoop, is closer than you think. What if that chip is already here, quietly entering mass production and threatening to rewrite the rules of the game? That world is becoming a reality. The Xiaomi XR3 3 nanometer chip, a breakthrough innovation, is poised to shake the foundations of the smartphone market. Qualcomm, the undisputed leader in mobile chips for over a decade, is now facing its biggest challenge yet. In late 2024, whispers about Xiaomi's ambitious move into cutting-edge chip design started to spread through the tech community. By April 2025, those whispers turned into a deafening roar, as it was confirmed that Xiaomi's XR Ring, a 3 nanometer system on chip SoC, had successfully entered mass production. This is a historic moment not only for Xiaomi, but for China's entire tech industry. It marks the debut of the first ever 3 nanometer mobile sock designed by a Chinese company. This chip could change the entire landscape of smartphone technology. The importance of this breakthrough cannot be overstated. For years, Qualcomm and MediaTek have been the dominant forces in the smartphone processor market, powering everything from entry-level phones to high-end flagships. Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips have set the standard for performance, efficiency, and AI capabilities, making them synonymous with the best mobile technology in the world. However, Xiaomi's X-Ring is about to challenge that long-standing dominance. The key to Xiaomi's bold move lies in its use of 3 nanometer technology, which offers unprecedented levels of power and efficiency. Unlike Xiaomi's earlier attempts in the chip space, such as the Pinecone Surge S1, which failed to compete with the likes of Qualcomm, the X-Ring is designed to directly take on Qualcomm's flagship chips. The X-Ring's use of 3 nanometer technology will provide up to 20-30% better performance and up to 50% improved energy efficiency compared to the current 4 nanometer and 5 nanometer chips used in most 2024 flagships. This level of efficiency could revolutionize the mobile industry, offering consumers high performance at a significantly lower cost. Xiaomi's move to develop its own chips isn't just about creating a better product, it's about seizing control of its supply chain and reducing its reliance on foreign chip makers like Qualcomm and MediaTek. By designing its own SOCs, Xiaomi gains the ability to optimize its devices in ways that other manufacturers simply cannot. This allows the company to create unique features tailored specifically for its devices, aligning with China's broader push for tech self-sufficiency. In a world where geopolitical tensions often make supply chains volatile, having full control over chip production could give Xiaomi a significant edge over its competitors. The SRing is being manufactured by TSMC, the world's leading chip foundry, known for producing chips for Apple and Qualcomm. This is a big deal because TSMC's 3 nanometer process, specifically the N3E node, is cutting edge technology, enabling Xiaomi to produce a chip that rivals the best the industry has to offer. Early rumors suggest the X-Ring will feature a powerful Cortex X3 Prime core, three Cortex A715 cores, four Cortex A510 cores, and an advanced GPU from Imagination Technologies. While it may not outperform Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite in raw power, its efficiency and cost effectiveness make it a serious contender in the mid-ranges and flagship segments. This isn't just a battle over performance, it's about price. Qualcomm has dominated the high-end mobile chip market for years, but its chips come at a premium cost. As smartphone prices continue to rise, thanks to the increasing cost of 3 nanometer processors, manufacturers are beginning to look for alternatives. Xiaomi's X-Ring could be the answer. By designing its own chip, Xiaomi could offer flagship level performance at a significantly lower price point, making high-end smartphones more accessible to a broader range of consumers. This would put immense pressure on Qualcomm, especially in markets like Asia, where Xiaomi is a top player. However, this shift in the ship market doesn't only affect Qualcomm. MediaTek, which held a 39% market share in Q1 2024, is also at risk. MediaTek's Dimensity 9400, another 3 nanometer chip, competes directly with Xiaomi's X-Ring. But Xiaomi's vertical integration, designing chips specifically for its own devices, gives it an advantage over MediaTek. Xiaomi can optimize the XR-Ring 
for better performance and efficiency in real-world usage, something that Mediatek might struggle to match with its more generic approach to chip design. Of course, Xiaomi's path hasn't been without hurdles. Its first attempt at chip design, the Pinecone Surge S1, didn't meet expectations. But over the years, Xiaomi has steadily built up expertise by focusing on smaller chips for specific functions like imaging, power management, and connectivity. The X-Ring represents a leap forward, but it's not without its risks. One of the biggest challenges is geopolitical. Xiaomi relies on TSMC for manufacturing, and with increasing scrutiny from the U.S. government over China's tech sector, there's a chance that TSMC could face restrictions on supplying chips to Xiaomi. If that happens, the X-Ring project could face serious delays or even collapse entirely. Some rumors suggest that Xiaomi's already considering backup plans, including shifting to TSMC's 4 nanometer N4P process in case things go south. And then there's the challenge of ensuring the X-Ring performs well in real-world scenarios. Theoretical performance is one thing, but Xiaomi must prove that the X-Ring can deliver on its promises in everyday use. Leaks suggest that the X-Ring's early performance is on par with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which might not be impressive enough in 2025's hyper-competitive market. Xiaomi will need to leverage software optimization, like its HyperOS, to make up for any performance gaps. Moreover, scaling production to meet demand will be a massive challenge. Qualcomm and MeTech have decades of experience in mass production, while Xiaomi is still learning the ropes. Any hiccups in the supply chain could set back the company's plans and hurt its reputation. The stakes here are massive, not just for Xiaomi, but for the entire global tech landscape. China has long been reliant on foreign chip makers, but with the X-Ring, Xiaomi could break free of that dependence, marking a significant step toward tech sovereignty. The chip industry has always been dominated by a few Western players, but if Xiaomi's X-Ring succeeds, it could inspire other Chinese companies to invest heavily in their own chip development, reducing their reliance on the West. This would not only shift the balance of power in the tech world, but also trigger a wave of innovation in China's tech ecosystem. For consumers, the implications of Xiaomi's X-Ring are exciting. If Xiaomi can deliver on its promise of high performance at a lower cost, we could see more affordable flagships with premium features. A Xiaomi 15S Pro with an X-Ring chip offering the same performance as the Snapdragon 8 Elite, but at $200 zero cents less, would force competitors like Samsung, Vivo, and Oppo to rethink their pricing strategies, ultimately benefiting consumers across the board. Additionally, Xiaomi's focus on vertical integration could lead to unique features tailored specifically to its devices, such as enhanced connectivity with its rumored MediaTek T95G modem, or advanced gaming and AR slash VR capabilities via its GPU. With its Hyper OS, Xiaomi could deliver a seamless AI-driven user experience that rivals Apple's ecosystem. But consumers should keep their expectations in check. The first-generation X-Ring chip may face some teething issues, just like Google's early Tensor chips did. Performance may not match the latest Snapdragon 8 Elite, and availability may be limited to select Xiaomi models. That said, the long-term potential of the X-Ring is undeniable. If Xiaomi can execute this project properly, the X-Ring could be the catalyst for a new era in smartphone chip design. The battle for dominance in the smartphone chip market is only getting started. Qualcomm and MediaTek aren't going to sit idly by while Xiaomi makes its move. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, which is being tested in early 2025, promises to maintain its lead, while MediaTek's Dimensity 9400 Plus is also improving its AI capability. And let's not forget about Apple's A18 Pro and Google's Tensor G5, both 3 nanometer chips, setting the bar higher for integrated ecosystems. Xiaomi's success will depend on its ability to execute. If the XR Ring delivers, it could carve out a significant share of the market, especially in Asia. But success isn't guaranteed. If Xiaomi stumbles, whether it's through technical, logistical, or geopolitical missteps, it could set the company back for years. We're still in the early stages of this revolution, and the future of the smartphone chip market is uncertain. What do you think? Will Xiaomi's 3 nanometer chip live up to the hype and challenge Qualcomm's dominance? Or is it too soon to call it a game changer? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to stay tuned for more deep dives into the world of mobile technology. The chip wars are just heating up and this is only the beginning. Stay tuned and let's keep exploring the future together.